Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Rain Plays. Today we're on the island, and we're taking care of Pier Palace. This was the house that I kept telling you was my favorite, and then I revisited it. <laughs> anyway, before I get into that, let me introduce you to uh, Jody Rose and Dahlia Mills. They're best friends. Jody is active geek and a loner her aspiration is the computer whiz and Dahlia is romantic I uh, can't even read my own writing she is yeah romantic geek and clumsy and her aspiration is to be a renaissance sim but they do have uh, a few things in common they're both doing the tech guru they're going to eventually get the um, YouTube career. Uh, the house. I was <laughs> sorry about that. <sighs> when I first had Windenburg and I finally made it over to this island just to check it out, I, I loved this house. I don't know why. I just thought it was so nice. And I immediately moved someone in. I, I fixed it up, gave it my own touches. And I played this, gosh, for weeks, I think. This was one of my longest plays, actually. I just didn't want to leave this place. And then when I came back for this speed build, I'm like, this looks a lot like the Land Crab House, <laughs> only a smaller version. Uh, it was disappointing. I don't know what happened. Well, you know, it comes with experience, I think. That that happens a lot in life. It's things that we used to really, really enjoy or thought so fascinating, and then all of a sudden you get older and a little bit wiser, and you've been around the block a couple times, and you come back, and it's like, what was I so excited about? <laughs> I guess that's the case with this house, because... I actually like the dock den better than this one. Um, this is another one of those three wall heights and then two wall heights on the second floor. I just brought everything down to two. And the build did not quite turn out the way I had thought it would. You know, I, it didn't go the way I had started out. Um, <clears throat> Again, that too might have just been midway change of heart or something, but my initial thought was to give it an L shape, but I kept thinking of their view. They have two great views of the water. So I figured, well, let's wall it around and window it off so that, you know, they can see it. And I just took it from there. So, uh... This has a lot of CC rugs in it, so I will definitely leave the link below. You can look at my favorites page. Um, the, the mm, sorry about that. <laughs> my mind is ahead of my mouth. I apologize. I'm trying to get my thoughts organized so that I do have something to say for 17 and a half. 17 and three quarters minutes. I'm sorry. This is such a long one but anyway um, Why can't two roommates share the same bed? I, I Never knew that wasn't an option. I gave them a uh, double bed Because there's only one bedroom in the house and I assigned both sides, you know one Jody got one side and Dahlia got the other and if Jody went to sleep, Dahlia would want to sleep downstairs on the couch. And so I said, no, go up to bed. And as soon as she started going up to bed, Jody woke up and started going down to the couch. Now they're best friends. I hiked up their friendship meter, you know, to the max. But I didn't say, you know, become best friends. Maybe that is an issue. But I, I never knew, I had no idea that they weren't allowed to share a bed. Only married couples can do that? 
I'm very confused and I don't know why they wouldn't allow that. So I had to give them really ugly, those Princess Cordelia twin beds. Twins? Yeah, twin beds. I can't stand those beds. But other than that, there's not a whole lot to tell you about them or the build. I just really like them. I couldn't believe it. Uh, Jody came up first. The um, black woman with the orange hair. I did not touch anything about Will. I changed her makeup and her jewelry. She was she was kind of heavy-handed with the makeup and her jewelry is what jewelry was a little weird. Uh, I also changed her outfit, but I did that for Dahlia as well because she was another one I just hit go and that woman popped up. Um, I liked them both. I thought they were pretty. I think I had to change Dahlia's hair though. I never like the hairstyles that um, EA chooses in Cass. I'm never happy with them. And this might be a little boring to watch because like I said, uh, I kept, I had one thing in mind and but I kept going with this and I'm like, do I want to do this? Should I go back? Should I just get rid of this and go back to what I originally wanted? But then I kept thinking, no, the view, the view, the view. <laughs> I'm in love with the view on this island. Um, but it's, well, it's a lot of back and forth, you know, moving this, taking it out, bringing it back, moving something forward, pushing it back. I, I, it was difficult to get it right, and even and when it's all said and done, I still don't know if I got it right. Something about the back that is annoying me. Now, there's nothing back there. I don't want to say back too many times. I apologize for that. I was just going to give them a little porch, you know, for their barbecue and if they feel like sitting out there. But the concentration for this house was the front and the side yard. Which again, both look out on the water. I didn't care about anything else. So, it was a, it was a struggle. But I think, I mean, I, I managed. I'm not displeased with what came out of it. I just don't know. I don't know if I should have gotten rid of this and stuck with my original plan or not. That's what's bothering me. But I guess it's not the end of the world. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I just hope you guys like it. So other than the bed, I couldn't think of anything else to tell you guys about. I have to work uh, all day tomorrow and all day Friday. Subbing a kindergarten class. I've been there before and I'm pretty sure it was her classroom that I was in back probably October, maybe November. She has two kids in that room that are, oh, I'm not good with difficult children because I think I mentioned before, I've got a bit of a temper and I'm a little impatient. And some of these kids just really need to be sat upon and made to understand that the world, it's not theirs, you know, it's ours. This is our classroom. These are our friends. This is how we do things. And the parents just don't seem to want to get on board with that. And it's kind of sad because it shows in the children. And well, there again, if I talk about this, I'll probably get blackballed or something. But in my experience as a sub and a teacher, I just feel that there are far more children being labeled than there than is necessary. Because labeling does not take care of the problem. And in my opinion, labeling a child is worse than actually having a child with an issue. 
and just because you know they're they're willful they're spoiled they're bratty that doesn't mean they have a medical condition that excuses that behavior and yet more and more of these kids are being diagnosed as something or other you know and it's I, I just think it's ridiculous no the fault does not lie with the child the fault lies with you you're not doing your job right end of discussion you need to figure it out so that you can take care of your child properly and it's easy to see which children legitimately need medical attention and which need a good spank <laughs> sorry and what I mean by that literally is focused disciplinary attention of the parents that's all them children need and they're not getting it so they're running wild and they're getting away with anything as being diagnosed well they're diagnosed so you know there's nothing I can do about it and so they just walk away and all that is is a humongous detriment to the child but I'm not gonna go there I'm not I'm not gonna go there I'm not gonna go there don't want to go there get in big trouble for it everybody being oh man how can you say that because it's true <laughs> sorry but it's true Ugh, I, so many people are afraid of the truth you know I just don't understand it why can't anybody be wrong you know that makes no sense I can be wrong all the time but nobody else can I don't understand that now as far as this health house goes I thought I'd go back to the roots that's why I gave them these out, outer German looking walls because it seems that nothing on this island even remotely resembles Windenburg I don't know why and after this house there's an empty lot and then two bigger houses you know I still haven't found that dude with the white hair and the funky outfit I found the outfit but I still have not seen him I don't think he's a Berkson or Bergenson or whatever their name is. Uh, but I've still got those two houses to go, so I don't know. And I can't remember the name of the family that lives in the humongous. Is that another 60 by 60 lot that's going to make my computer go nuts? I don't know. But we shall see. So anyway... <laughs> The whole point of that was that because I'll be working all day Thursday and all day Friday, not even getting home until after 4, I believe, because it's 8.20 to 3.30, yeah. So I won't be getting home until after 4. Um, I'll be uploading these separately. So I have two videos. One will go up tomorrow and then, the, well, Thursday. And then this one will probably go up on Friday. And hopefully by Saturday I'll be done with one of them two mansions on this island. I don't know. I, I mean, I try to do a daily upload. That, that does not work out. Because sometimes these builds last more than a day. And I just, I just can't do it. So... The, the lighting... <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to notice that those teeny tiny little lights hanging way up there. But they actually worked. I put, I shrunk a few of them saucer lights as well. And I put them near those orange lights. And again, I think I've mentioned this before. I, I prefer that light for the glow. The way it looks. I think it's pretty. Um, but it looked weird hanging on the first floor ceiling when there is no ceiling see you can see that little saucer sitting there it's weird so i i brought them up to the second floor but it worked it's not all that dark at nighttime on the first floor so i just went with it yeah see i had to get rid of their double bed because they couldn't sleep together and i just don't understand that 
But then I don't understand a lot of EA's gameplay. What they were thinking and why they were thinking the way they were. It makes no sense to me. I was worried that those two desks, that they were not going to be able to do that either. But they both sit there and they both work. So that's fine. Oops, I forgot to change the color of that. Did I forget to change the color of that door? I don't think so. I think I kept the white. The color was a difficult one. I'm Obviously, I ended up going with yellow and gold, but... It was. It took a long time to decide what to do. And the back windows, like I said, I did not think that the back of this house was significant enough to concentrate on. So my main focus was the this side of the water and then that other side of the water. Our right. Yeah, those lights look kind of silly up there. But oh well. Uh, now at this point in the recording to the walkthrough, the camera just went cuckoo. I don't know if you can really see. When I see the FPS counter in the lower right corner, when I watch these videos back, you can't see it at all because the YouTube bar is there. But it was very sticky and it was jumpy you know I would be moving forward but apparently the camera was still back and all of a sudden it would snap forward so but yes I think I mentioned this in the last video the doc den video these lots are 30 by 20 but you would never know it after you get your build going they seem like those really teeny tiny 15 by 20 the new crest lots they're so small but let me just say this is still my favorite spot out of all the spots on this island this is my favorite i would not mind living here for real <laughs> i'm sure a lot of people wouldn't mind Oh darn, the sump pump. You know the sump pump has been down to almost two hours. Every two hours it goes off. So sure enough, I start recording and that's one of those two hours. Alright, well there's your aerial view of the two homes I've done so far. I appreciate that you watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.